Hello, everybody. I'm back. I feel better. Um, I'm healed. I'm still dealing with this tooth pain, but it's much better than what it was. Thank God. Um, so yeah, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. And I just want you to know that I really, really appreciate your continued support. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And I hope that you are enjoying um, my content and that you will enjoy this video. So today I want to be sharing um, uh, my input um, on a question that was asked in my comments um, from a subscriber. She wanted to know if I could give my input on what it is that you do when you've been hurt by a family member um, who is uh, emotionally immature. And I was like, absolutely. Because personally, I've, I've dealt with that over the years, um, many times, many times. And um, let me just, you know, throw out a disclaimer here. Uh, this is just my personal opinion. I will say that I have a lot of life experience. Um, and so I, I feel that I have um, some advice um, coming from wisdom uh, that I have to offer and would love to share with you guys. And so just be open and mindful that um, my opinion is just that, my opinion. You know, what you take from what I say uh, is what you take. You don't have to agree with everything that I say, okay? So uh, let me go ahead and just kind of give you my input on dealing with a family member um, that is just continuously hurting you um, because they are emotionally um, immature. <clears throat> and just another form of of not having emotional intelligence. Um, that is a topic that I touched on in a previous video. If you guys would like to go back and watch that, uh, I feel that it was very informative and I would like to revisit uh, that topic again. So my first advice to you would be um, to be honest with yourself, um, to sit down and write a list of pros and of cons. You know, we have been taught in life that family is everything, you know, family over everything. Um, we tend to take a lot more abuse from family than we do from, you know, people out in the world that are not related to us. And is this acceptable? Absolutely not. Absolutely, absolutely not. And you don't have to tolerate it. Um, <clears throat> if you feel as though... Um, your family member is um, emotionally immature, um, and there may be a chance later on in the future um, that this person may do some, do some growing mentally, um, then I would choose to take a step back from this family member, and I would be very honest with them, let them know why you are opting out and choosing you, because ultimately, you're going to be choosing your peace, your peace of mind over um, the form of abuse that's occurring from this family member. And it, uh, at the end of the day, that is exactly what it is. <clears throat> I find that a lot of people that are emotionally immature um, tend to be manipulative, um, verbally abusive. Um, they use you, you know, and all of these things, they, they weigh on you, you know, and that's just something that you don't want to have around you. And, you know, <clears throat> just because a person is your family member does not mean that you have to have them in your life. That is not a requirement. I've never seen it in the Bible. You know, I, you know, personally, um, I've opted to be brutally honest with you all. I've opted out of a relationship with my own son, my own child. Um, I spent years and years of dealing with uh, verbal abuse, um, dealing just dealing with different things coming from him. And it was really disrupting my peace, you know? And I would battle within myself um, as to if I needed to distance myself from him because he is my son. And, you know, I had to make that hard call. And I miss, I miss him every day. I will always love him, but ultimately, where I am in life, my peace of mind, this up here, my peace of mind 
is everything. It's everything because when you have a peace of mind, you think more clear, you're able to make better sound judgments. Um, you're able to help yourself better. You're able to help other people better, you know? And so even when it comes to toxic family members, that's what I'm going to call them, toxic family members. And not no one person is perfect. Let's be clear about that. But you do have those family members that you have to make that hard call, you know? And once you've made that call, <clears throat> you'll come to realize that you probably should have made the call even sooner, you know? Um, wounds do heal over time. And you never know, you know, this person, your family member, you know, a few years from now, that person may be um, mature emotionally to where you guys can come back together and have a beautiful relationship as family members. Um, I will say that <clears throat> also, um, you know, in the beginning, this person may be bitter about your decision, you know, if you choose um, to distance yourself from this family member. Uh, you know, this person may be bitter, but ultimately, you could also be helping this person to grow. You know, you're going to force this family member to say, hey, I can no longer do this because now look what happened. You know, I can no longer abuse her. I can no longer... So you're going to force them to think about their actions. You know, I call it, um, a lot of times we tend to coddle family members, you know, and we make excuses for them and it's not forcing them to grow up, if you understand what I'm saying. And so we can't do that. We have to, you know, make those hard choices and say, hey, enough is enough. I really hope that, um, you know, you understand what I'm saying and I've given you some clarity and you're able to move forward in this situation. I want to catch up with you at a later date and see what your decision was with this. Um, I will say that with myself, I hope that me and my son are able to reunite one day. I really, truly do. But I won't open that door back up. I will not until God himself tells me to because it's, it's just too much. It's too much, you know, and on a, on a spiritual level... <clears throat> People carry spirits. People carry spirits, you know, and those spirits, they will attach themselves to you. Then you don't understand why you're depressed or why you're, you're you know, you're acting out or why you're doing certain things, you know. And, and that's something also that you have to guard, you know, guard yourself from. And so ultimately, also with the times that we're living in, it's just very important to protect your peace at all costs, at all costs. You know, I have... Um, my God, I don't look at a lot of my family as even my family anymore. You know, my best friend, a Caucasian, she's Caucasian, so color doesn't matter. My best friend, she is my sister. I consider her to be my sister, even though we don't have the same blood running through our veins, because there's nothing she wouldn't do for me, and there's nothing I wouldn't do for her. And we've been, we've been best friends for almost three decades three decades. That is my sister because I don't even have a relationship with my blood sister. She's wronged me so much as well, you know? And so I am a firm believer. And if family, if they are not doing right by you, you need to opt out of the relationship. And it's just that simple. I really hope that, you know, my advice helps you in, in, you know, trying to make the decision that you are making and I really truly do wish you well. I'll talk with you guys soon. Shalom.